And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Oded. And he went out to meet Asa, and said unto him, Hear you me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you, while you be with him. And if you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Now, for a long season, Israel has been without the true God, and without a teaching priest, and without law. But when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord God of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. And in those times there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in. But great vexations were upon all the inhabitants of the countries. And nation was destroyed of nation, and city of city. For God did vex them with all adversity. Be you strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And when Asa heard these words, and the prophecy of Oded the prophet, he took courage, and put away the abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin, and out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim, and renewed the altar of the Lord that was before the porch of the Lord. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin, and the strangers with them, out of Ephraim and Manasseh, and out of Simeon. For they fell to him out of Israel in abundance, when they saw that the Lord his God was with him. So they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month, in the fifteenth year of the reign of Asa. And they offered unto the Lord the same time of the spoil which they had brought, seven hundred oxen and seven thousand sheep. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul, that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. And they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire. And he was found of them, and the Lord gave them rest round about. And also concerning Maka, the mother of Asa the king, he removed her from being queen, because she had made an idol in a grove. And Asa cut down her idol and stamped it and burnt it at the brook Kidron. But the high places were not taken away out of Israel. Nevertheless, the heart of Asa was perfect all his days. And he brought into the house of God the things that his father had dedicated and that he himself had dedicated, silver and gold and vessels. And there was no more war unto the five and thirtieth year of the reign of Asa. In the sixth and thirtieth year of the reign of Asa, Basha, king of Israel, came up against Judah and built Ramah, to the intent that he might let none go out or come in to Asa, king of Judah. Then Asa brought out silver and gold out of the treasures of the house of the Lord and of the king's house, and sent to Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, that dwelt at Damascus, saying, There is a league between me and you, as there was between my father and your father. Behold, I have sent you silver and gold. Go break your league with Besha, king of Israel, that he may depart from me. And Ben-Hadad hearkened unto king Asa, and sent the captains of his armies against the cities of Israel. And they smote Ihan, and Dan, and Abelmeam, and all the store cities of Naphtali. And it came to pass when Bashah heard it, that he left off building of Ramah, and let his work cease. Then Asa the king took all Judah, and they carried away the stones of Ramah, and the timber thereof, wherewith Bashah was building. And he built therewith Geba and Mizpah. And at that time Hanani the seer came to Asa king of Judah, and said unto him, Because you have relied on the king of Syria, and not relied on the Lord your God, therefore is the host of the king of Syria escaped out of your hand. Were not the Ethiopians and the Lubims a huge host, with very many chariots and horsemen? Yet because you did rely on the Lord, he delivered them into your hand. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth, to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein you have done foolishly, Therefore, from henceforth you shall have wars. Then Asa was wroth with the seer, and put him in a prison house, for he was in a rage with him because of this thing. And Asa oppressed some of the people the same time. And behold, the acts of Asa, first and last, lo, they are written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. And Asa, in the thirty and ninth year of his reign, was diseased in his feet, until his disease was exceeding great, 
Yet in his disease he sought not to the Lord, but to the physicians. And Asa slept with his fathers, and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. And they buried him in his own sepulchres, which he had made for himself in the city of David, and laid him in the bed which was filled with sweet odors and divers kinds of spices prepared by the apothecary's art. And they made a very great burning for him.